Ken, who you guys playing tonight? Did Denver? <laughs> He's to go. What is wrong, dude? With you, what bro? is worse than the Nuggets? Like what I'd the like, fuck? The Avalanche, you idiot! And he'd be like, "Did Denver?" That's worse than the Nets. We're gonna <laughs> call ourselves you know the what? Nuggets. That's a good point because, like, I always think it sucks to be a Pacers fan, but like we've made it close before, like many times. Ugh. You could always be a fan of a team like the fucking Nuggets, <laughs> like, yeah, ooh. or the Supersonics. Remember that? Oh, God. Well, but at least the Supersonics made the finals. No, that was kind of cool, though. They had, like, a weird name. And Sonic oh, was yeah. huge, so everybody was like, so I know that word Sonic. <laughs> well, everybody called them the Sonics, but they were clearly the Supersonics. What about Sean Kemp? Yeah, oh, Sean, Sean Kemp was a baller, dude. I bet you that guy could beat the shit out of someone in a fight. Sean Yo, Kemp. Sean Kemp. I'm about to fuck your wife. You know what? <laughs> you know what Sean Kemp reminds me of is, like, the times when... The Seven Elevens or whatever they were, McDonald's had the fucking NBA cups. Oh yeah, and I was on the, all co- the collectors cups. Yeah, and the collectors I was cups. on all them cups, Crowning. Collect- uh, no, you Kemp. weren't, Kemp. Shut up. He used to put me on every cup, man. What you know? What you talking about coming from motherfucking, with a fucking Reggie Miller ass, motherfucker? <laughs> I was waiting uh. for him to go. Were well, you from fucking Indiana? <laughs> <laughs> Are you from Indiana talking shit? I was a Navy SEAL. Oh, God, Jesse's here, too. It's Jesse and Kemp. I once fucked a Navy SEAL. You know, I never... Could you imagine making a gimmick podcast just called uh, Jesse and Kemp? And it's Sean Kemp and Jesse Ventura. <laughs> we talk to each other. Uh, Sean, like, it's really Sean Kemp, right? You stay in character the whole time. Like, yeah, that's right, Jesse. Back in 1995, we was playing very well that well, year. I and remember he's... Sean Kemp because... <laughs> When when Sean Kemp was dunking basketballs, I was the governor of Minnesota. <laughs> That's incorrect, Jesse. That's not true. It wasn't. No. Shut up. You're a slack jawed faggot. I could have you killed. Yeah. <laughs> you know, most you're like, of people could around you here. Imagine if you guys did a weekly podcast called Jesse and Kemp, and I'm just like the Weasley <laughs> producer guy in the background. Here here's the thing. 9-11 was an inside job. Have you ever seen the bodies? I haven't. I <laughs> can't comment. It's certificates. You ever seen a dead certificate, you slack jawed faggot? Ask, go ahead. Go down to the library and ask them to pull a death certificate. They won't. Yeah. I've yeah. tried it. You see one? Have you ever been molested in Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> one time, this is Sean. One time I was fucked in Indiana State. What? Yeah. <laughs> what did he say? One time I was. It sounded like he goes, I was fuck. One time I was gagged and fucked. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can thank George Bush for that. That's why they did 9 11. So we you could engage in terrorism of our own and torture on Guantanamo Bay. That's American terrorism right there, you slack jawed faggot. Have you the ever best part fornicated? Is, like, the whole show yeah. it has no topic. <laughs> and it's you know, just these two like <laughs> bickering back and forth because Camp out of nowhere was just like one time I got gagged and fucked. And Jesse's like, well, 9 11 was a conspiracy. I don't care. You ever get gagged and fucked while you were in Minnesota? <laughs> oh, my God. You want to know what the real problem is? Your wife. Do you want to know what the real problem is? Child sex trafficking. Nobody don't wants to talk about that. On, motherfucker. How come nobody <laughs> wants to talk about that? Oh, you want to know why? Because you crazy, you white old motherfucking crazy ass motherfucking ex fucking seal. I understand that there's a problem with police brutality, but do you know what the deep state is doing, bu- brother? You <laughs> chloroformed and fucked. I've, you know, have you ever chloroformed somebody? Because I have. Yeah, oh my God, I- you nailed that. I have to Answer man. me that, Sean Kemp. Have you ever chloroformed somebody before? Because I have. And not only that, I chloroformed your mother and fucking gagged her and... F- oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> my Uncle Bill used to chloroform the kids. Oh, my and God, dude. He step right up. He'd be like, come up here and put your face on them. <laughs> and then we'd come up there and get our face rubbed with the chlorophyllis. <laughs> and he'd just fill our ass crack. 
what kind of a country do we live in now where somebody gets their brains bashed in on the sidewalk and people just keep on walking by? That's You're not fuck- my America. You're a fucking slack, George. Fag. You're darker. You're blacker than Wesley Snipes. <laughs> All right. And I, I've served with plenty of amazing African-American patriots. I, I mean, I served with Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I was in Predator. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Schwarzenegger were very good friends, you slap faggot. Can you imagine them on the set, like, with their fucking fake paint and shit? Like, fucking just whatever, like. So We're that, that I climbed down. The, the, the director's like, Arnold, stop grabbing onto the tree branch. You're just, that's, it's out of the shot. You want me yeah. to, to grab onto the branch? Yeah. Come over here and grab onto it. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, if, if Finch McMahon was on this set, he would have killed you already. Oh, it sounded like you said Fist McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> if Fish McMahon, I fisted McMahon. You know, there's a guy named Fist McMahon. Well, you know, uh, tell us, Jesse, about the time you were on the set of Predator. What, like, what was that like? That was your first film that you were in. Well, I had been used to it for years. I worked for Vince McMahon. There's nobody <laughs> as demanding as he was. So Predator Yo. was like being taking the training wheels off the bike. Uh, Fist <laughs> McMahon. Fist the man. <laughs> Fist the big man. Oh, JB wasn't even here for that. I fucking, I think I just nailed it. His his nickname is Fist the man. I worked for Vince McMahon for years. For years, I was, it was like taking the training wheels off. <laughs> that was great. Uh, Bailey, what's up? You back? 